the assault in Bristol Park, <laughs> and the fact that there were several bystanders who stood by and watched <laughs> sent shockwaves through the city. What kind of people do that? Just stand there and watch? They'll get what's coming to them. You'll see. Karma's a bitch. <laughs> Last statement may have a ring of truth to it. Since the attack last week, two of the witnesses have died mysteriously. Joining us today is the man who filmed the attack, computer programmer Nathan Rome. Thanks for speaking with us today, Nathan. Thank you for having me. With all the rumors going around, I want to explain myself. No, please do. Please explain. Please explain how you could stand there and watch a man get brutally beaten to death. The doctor said it was the final blows that did him in, so if you or anyone had done anything at all, he would still be alive. I feel horrible, but I couldn't have gone down there. You see, I have agoraphobia. I mean, when I leave my place, I get severe panic attacks. I mean, for real, you can ask my doctor. Agoraphobia, panic attacks. How convenient. Tell me, why didn't you call the cops before you started filming? I thought one of those other people would call him. Or maybe you thought that you could make some money. Isn't it true you asked us for $5,000 for the rights to the video? It's not like that. Look, I have a ton of medical bills. I'm gonna be honest with you, Nathan. It's a little bit hard for me to feel sorry for you right about now, except for the fact that two of the witnesses have already died. They were accidents. Maybe. Are you scared, Nathan? Yes. Then you know how Douglas felt that day in the park. <coughs> Hello? Yeah, hey, Mom. No, I'm fine. Look, I know. That we planned it for days. Mom, stop crying, please. Listen, I'm fine. Yeah, I love you too.
I couldn't have gotten there on it. Agoraphobia. Panic attacks. How convenient. And you know how Douglas felt that day in the park. The doctor said it was the final blows that did the man, so if you, anyone had done it, he would still be alive.